All right, we'll move wow. on to Sony. What did they do to you? To, 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 to the, next, the next console. <laughs> and uh, let's, let's talk about some Sony stuff, man. Sony, uh, boring. I'm sorry. Sony was boring. You think? Yes. Yeah, they had their big they release with, uh, yeah. God, you know, Dad of Boy. You know, <laughs> that was their big release. Uh, honestly, they, the fact that that already is out, I think that was their last big. Well, I mean, I've heard a, I heard a lot with uh, this Last of Us 2. Um, Last of Us 2 had but, a lot of talk. But after. doesn't it feel really Tomb Raider-y? Like, she, I mean, there were several shots of this game that I thought I was watching the latest Tomb Raider game. If you watch the vid, the trailer, like, she, they, she looked so much like they were Laura Crofter running around with her bow. I didn't even see any freaking zombies in it dang near. It was almost all her fighting other people. And I think there even was a scene where the guy's holding her down and choking her. You know, that mm-hmm. new thing they love in the Tomb Raider games is watch Laura get choked by men. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like, it really gave off a Tomb Raider. I'm not saying that's a bad thing, but... It, it, it takes away some of the uniqueness. Well, I mean, The Last of Us, the first Last of Us, was such an empowering um, uh, feels. It had so much feels in it. Mm-hmm. And oh, great game. I didn't get that from this trailer. I got... The, the, the trailer was very visceral to me. There was, a, there was a lot of just... Oh, you know, a lot of shocking, grotesque grotesque violence, mm-hmm. which, which is, is great. Later. <laughs> but... I don't. I, I did definitely didn't get a Tomb Raider vibe from it. You didn't play the like the first I, reboot Tomb Raider, played, man. There was some yeah. very visceral violent scenes and injuries. Yeah. I, mean, I, I, I mean, I didn't it was, get it from that. Well, trailer, was, the vibe mainly was just that she gave me all Laura Croft feel. Like there was one point where she's sneaking around, and it looked like it was taken almost right out of mm-hmm. one of the Tomb Raider games I saw. Um, I worry about it being a little bit divisive, just because. They're clearly not shying away from some story elements. Yeah. And I don't think that's a bad thing, but at the same time, it's hard to put yourself in a different set of shoes sometimes. Mm-hmm. And I, I worry about some players having trouble. Some people. Uh, again, some people. For example, I don't play a lot of female uh, protagonist games because I have a harder time relating at bonding on that same yeah. level because I don't understand Which, the uh, point of view. Dark Dark Seer does have a point. All modern third person adventures are pretty much Tomb Raider-y. I mean yeah. Yeah. It, yeah. it's the the third person adventure, especially if you have a female protagonist, is uh is pretty much Tomb Raider's M.O. You know? yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. I, I just wish she changed her hair up a little bit and looked just a little bit different. But the ponytail with the bow on the back just gave me that. That's just me. She, she looked a lot like Laura Croft. Uh, yeah. And I just like, huh, she looked a lot like Laura Croft to me. It, yeah. It's not a bad thing, though, because the Tomb Raider game reboots have actually been really good. Yeah. Now, what, what, what do you think about this uh, Death Stranding? Uh, I mean, you got um, pretty much uh, this character modeled after... The dude from um, the Walking, Dead. Walking Dead shows me how good a Walking Dead team could have been if they put some effort in. <laughs> good? Are we gonna? Are we sticking with the word "good"? Good? Gooder? All right. Yeah, I mean, good. Good's not a bad thing. I don't know. It didn't really seem like my my cup of tea. Personally, I uh, I looked at the trailer and I was just like, yeah, all right, it's a game. Yeah, I, I didn't catch it. earlier when I mentioned Japanese nonsense. <laughs> Uh-huh. You're not gonna drop that, huh? All right. uh-huh. I'm just saying, it's like it's a consistent thing. Unfortunately, Norman I, Reedus. I, that was that's Norman Reedus. Yeah, that's, I, I know yeah. why I couldn't get stuck on it because it just made me want to drop I mean? a tear for the PT game we never got. Uh, I'm sure, somebody yeah. over here in <laughs> yeah. Twitch has probably already told me <laughs> that. But. You know, when I saw him, <laughs> no. I was like, "Oh man, they surely should have made that Silent Hill game." And that's all I could think. I just kept thinking they really yeah. should have made yeah. that Silent. So now that I'm looking at them, mm-hmm. all I keep thinking is, "This really would have been a good Silent Hill game." <laughs> yeah. Now, what do you, what what do you think about the return here with uh, Resident Evil Two? Uh, looks good. I will say that the graphical uh, <laughs> update is amazing. Mm. Uh, Raccoon City was one of their best games, and you know uh, there's a bunch of fanboys really? for uh, our boy, the main character there, who for some reason's name I literally just forgot in the middle of about to say it. But uh, it was just it, oh god, that drives oh, me crazy. You look great for your age, Mark. <laughs> <laughs> but uh but no but like you know uh it's it was a lot of people's favorite game and it looks better to me than the remake of the first game like this one they really they really went oh, all out to make it look amazing apparently you know? it's making me now gameplay is gonna be another story i i don't know i don't care how the gameplay is gonna go 
but I, I'd replay it. Uh, well, excuse me, depending on the price mark. Like, I'm not going to pay $60, $70 to play a game I played before just because it's prettier. But yeah. I'd grab it for 40 I'd grab it for 20 Like, I, I, I was never a fan of the, uh, the, the, the original on-rails Resident Evil games. Mm -hmm. So, like, knowing that they're actually remaking them as playable games, I might actually buy that. Well, I, I like that the first couple of Resident Evils actually felt scary and gave that zombie apocalypse feel versus the later games that got really away from that. And it looks like they really are putting effort into giving you this tragic feeling of this used to be a living city and now it's gone to hell. Mm -hmm. and, and the dark the dark atmosphere and the, the behavior. Uh, oh, God. I almost had his name then and I lost it again. Dang. <laughs> like, it keeps coming in and out. It's like, ah. Uh. But, um... It really looks like it's going to be pretty decent if you want to play a zombie game. But I'm hoping they also are changing the gameplay up a lot, too, because <laughs> the original Resident Evil game played like crap. Yeah. yeah. So that's the next question, though, is is it going to play better? Yeah. I mean, I mean, we'll only see. But anything else from Sony now? I, this was this was one I, I was, you know, they're, they're still pushing the Spider-Man. I want to play the Spider-Man. You've been excited for that. I, I've been since, eh. since last E3. I've wanted to play Spider-Man. If it so, was Miles, I'd buy it. Though I am, I am He's in it. I am afraid I that they Miles may Morales. be cramming too much stuff into it now. Because like you're 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 seeing what Electro, Rhino, Scorpion, the Vulture, Mr. all at Negative, the same time. You know, I, mean, all, I thought they were yeah. doing Sinister Six for a moment. They grabbed so many villains at once. And a couple of the offshoot ones, because I was like, you're going to go with Mr. Negative? I would have rather you went with Mysterio, you I, know? Yeah. Well, I, Old I, 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 trust, I trust Insomniac games. Like, they don't make bad games, except for that one. I'll give you that. Uh, so, so yeah, I'm, I'm on board with Spider-Man all the way. Uh, what I'm really excited for, the only, th the only thing that really got me excited about the whole Sony press conference was uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Tsushima? That looked that really yeah. good. That yeah. did look good. I don't know enough about it. I'm not going to get too excited early on, mm -hmm. but it did look like my type of game, but I don't have... Oh, the Samurai one. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 like yeah I may yeah, have yeah. to borrow your PlayStation on that one, man, because I love a good Samurai. I used to, I've played the Way of the Samurai games, man, a mm -hmm. bunch of times. I love them. Uh, oh, man. All right, but anyway, like, yeah, I'm into that. I'm yeah, into no, that no, period I, piece. I saw some of the, 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 the gameplay trailer, and it was it looked it looked fun. And and and, and I, I don't want to I don't want to spoil this for you, but uh, it's from the developer developer of Infamous. So hey hey, I'm not gonna knock Infamous. I just mm -hmm. only time I knock Infamous is when they compare it to Prototype. I thought Prototype was better. Doesn't mean the game was bad, but then it's just also I, Infamous' story just didn't resonate with me. All right, all right. I think that that, that pretty much covers uh, the Sony. As a quick rundown. So next, uh, what we have a uh, we have Nintendo, right? I think oh, so. This is gonna be the Sergio section here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We don't Nintendo. Even Neither one of us even owns. <laughs> like, uh, okay. I you want me to run yeah. point on the Nintendo? Yeah, run conference? point on the Nintendo because I did not watch the uh, the Nintendo conference. Um, I've watched the thing about Super Smash Brothers, and that was it. And you know what? You've watched the the, the press conference. It's yeah, basically I, what you did. I also uh, saw you posting on Facebook about it, and I was like, "Oh, Sergio's not happy about Nintendo." Yeah, I'm yeah, not like I'm paying and, attention. And with Sergio being the Nintendo fan <laughs> of, of of our friends, I was like, "If Sergio's not happy with it, I'm not even going to bother." I, um, that's bad. I you love everything. love. I love Smash Brothers, and mm. everything they've shown for Smash Brothers has been amazing. But I started to get real suspect when their 45 minute press conference ended up being 25 minutes worth of smash brothers and they started showing the final smash of every single character i mean that was a long friggin and i'm like trailer. You're they right. may not talk about anything else and then they didn't like normally in a trailer you don't go into every different change every character but they're like oh kirby still has the hammer and by the way, here's Dean. I'm just going like, wow, this is going on a lot longer than I expected. Yeah, yeah. It, it basically looked like a tutorial for the game. Uh, by the way, we brought back like Snake's board. You remember that board you liked? Mm -hmm. Oh, you can change Cloud's outfit. We got two outfits two for Cloud. Outfits for, yeah, two outfits like, for oh. Cloud is where they lost me. But Because there was really nothing before that that <laughs> Overcooked 2 looks cool. They, they already had the two outfits, too. I didn't get that. I was like, but you had two outfits for Cloud. You know, like Hollow Knight, Hollow Knight is an old game. Fortnite, we knew that that was going to come to Switch. That's inevitable. Mm -hmm. Like, 
Give us, give us some good. St- give me some details on Metroid Prime Four. Anything, <laughs> okay? Give me a, ch- I don't know, a decent trailer for Bayonetta Three. Something. Uh, what about the I'm fire? Really what about the Fire Emblem uh, franchise? I know they, yeah, they he just talked about stuff. Japanese yeah. nonsense. You yeah, know okay, he that's right. Fire there you go. There you go. Um, yep. As he has insulted the country that makes our games. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm waiting for the like. I'm waiting for this next character that gets beat up on a game of Vic's villain. That's corny. Is gonna look strangely like Mr. Lugo here. It's like, yeah. Wow, that guy sure looks familiar. And he's just gonna be like you and your stupid nonsense. Yeah, I'm American. This is bad guy. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yes, I'm American. <laughs> but but yeah, like the Nintendo press conference uh, was a wet fart. Is what I'm saying. Like yeah, yeah, wet. Fart. Wet, it's a wet fart. fart. I'm not even. I was just gonna let that one slide. You know. I, I don't know uh, if that's corny, <laughs> disgusting, or enlightened. I can't tell. Mission accomplished. Yeah. All right. So EA. <laughs> <laughs> EA, the most evil. <laughs> let me stop. Let me. I've been watching too much Jim Sterling, man. I can go on to EA rant. I can definitely go on a long. <laughs> All right. Oh, yeah. So yeah. let's uh, let let's, let's talk EA, man. Um, Battlefield Five, that I mean, if you want to start from the top, it's, that's it's like Battlefield Four, except in World War Two and a battle royal mode. Battle royale mode, and there's ladies. Next game. <laughs> wow. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Wow. <laughs> You're not even gonna predict what'll be the first loot box you'll be able to purchase. Oh no, that's, oh, no. Man, oh, at, yeah, at, the, at this EA. point, EA is well, allergic a- to loot boxes. <laughs> But, like, will you be able to get fancy dresses for your female main character? I'm sure you will. Yeah. I was joking. And I mean, that would be horrible. Yeah, they, yeah. Actually, they actually said they were going full steam ahead on loot boxes in a, uh, in a press release a couple months ago. So I mean, Let me no, send a shout out here. And I'm not for, like, gameplay affecting loot boxes. Now, let me say this real Maybe. quick, though, just to get it out. Hey, guys, look. You know how insensitive I can be. But even I'm going, like, stop complaining about the woman on the cover of the game. I mean, sheesh, man. You're making a big deal out of that. Don't be silly. I mean, wait, Battlefield wait, wait. games weren't accurate what? that much... There is a big no. He knows I'm talking about. Right? The big there is a bunch of people complaining that it wasn't realistic that there was a woman on the cover that women weren't in the wars back then. And my whole thing is, I never knew Battlefield was supposed to be that accurate. <laughs> I, I've seen so many people that make videos about all the stuff that's inaccurate, including the guns and so many other things. That I'm amazed that you're like now going. We want super realism. I'm like the super realism would be you get shot once and then you bleed to yeah. death. Like. <laughs> Like, why don't you be more ask for realism in other areas than gender? Because let people play what they want to play. Yeah. Heck, I want to play a stormtrooper. I want to be able to walk around Battlefield Five as a stormtrooper using a flintlock. And I was like, I don't care. Let people have their fun. Like, like if you think if you think having women in a World War Two military game is silly, mm-hmm. you should probably step back and see how silly it is about worrying about that. <laughs> the, the important thing about World War Two wasn't that there were there were women in it. There was bigger issues. <laughs> Yeah, I'm pretty sure if they wanted to fight, they would have let them. They had some big stuff to deal with. That was a minor problem. Wow, yeah, it's, it's Super Smash yeah. Brothers, man. That, that's all I can do. I tried oh, no, to make no. the Nintendo section longer. That's all. No, I, I just, I just Nint- saw uh, Nintendo didn't bother Nintendo making their Nintendo section. Wood, longer. Wood, Wooden Ball had uh, posted a, a picture, and I was seeing what it was, but yeah. it was. Uh, it was it was a more smash, and we're on Sony now. Right, we're, yeah, on EA. we're on EA now. <laughs> so we have FIFA, FIFA, yes, FIFA nineteen. I, yeah, FIFA. I think that's how that, that, that um, works. Yeah. So sports, EA Sports. Woo! That's still a thing, you guys. Um. All right. <laughs> now this one, uh, EA announces Origin Access Premiere. Now that's Origin Access Premiere has been around for a while. Origin Access has. I'm Origin Premier Access. Has, yeah. Okay. Um, Apparently they made IGN concerned. Oh, yeah, a new premiere tier for its PC. Okay. Um, what are they going to take away from their normal tier to put make premiere? Because there's nothing to really make premiere. So I now see why people are concerned. My first thought is they're going to take something away from the regular origin so that, and then Where's, lock it behind I the wanna, paywall. I mean, the origin. No, okay, so there's already a paywall thing. There's a, So there's regular origin, mm-hmm. which is just their Steam... Uh, type service. Yep. Then there's a uh, Origin Access, which is where you get discounts on all their games, mm-hmm. and they have a library of older games that you can play for free. Okay. Yeah. Um, and now there's a uh, Access Premiere. I don't know. You know, then they so, always try to find a way to make more money. 
I'd rather they do this than keep doing that dang stupid loot box nonsense. So I'll take it. And it says, uh, Origin Access Premier subscribers will have full access to new EA games ahead of their scheduled releases. Oh, wow. Uh, this includes That's access to Anthem, um, Battlefield 5, uh, Madden NFL. That's a pretty FIFA. big edge on the competitive games that you play online. Yeah. Like getting, especially if it's like a significant amount of time, like a month. I'll tell you, I know what happened when I was late to start up a fighting game and went to a tournament. It made a difference to people that got it the weekend before me. Like, I, it we're, was a very discernible. EA here, though. Like, don't get me wrong. I don't play anything EA. My thing yeah. is, is, so my biggest problem with this is just the fact of I don't like Origin. Like the the software, <laughs> and you shouldn't. It's not the good. the the software is <laughs> your original issue is origin, huh? Yeah, yeah. The, the 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 software itself is bad. It's it it has issues. It's not a very smooth. Like when after using Steam for so long, you you sort of see the way that a a massive online store mm -hmm. for games should be. And Origin is not there. No, Dude, I almost didn't play dra that. La dra was it Dragon Age? What was the last Dragon Age game? Inquis Inquisition? I almost didn't get it because of how much I need to go through Origin to uh, load my story over. I was like, almost going like, I don't know if I want to play this if I got to deal yeah. with all this crap. And the sign-up was so frustrating and all the steps. And I mean, like, I go back on Steam and I re-download games to play again. I tried to do that with Dragon Age Inquisition. I had taken it off for a while, decided I'd go back and try it again. I started trying to get into Origin, and I said, screw it. And I didn't. I did literally just said, screw it. I'll never play Dragon Age Inquisition again. And they got my money, so they don't care. But, I mean, it literally made me. I'm, I went back and redownloaded Skyrim and Fallout 4 again and played more of them. And, you know, I do that. I'll go back and play them again. I, I don't want to go back into Origin ever again. So mm -hmm. Dragon Age Inquisition is just a game that I own that I'll probably never play again. There you go. Uh, let's see. Respawn teases Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, um, which is just a tease. Yeah. So is that canon? <laughs> I don't uh, know. Like, I, it's, it's it's cool that Respawn is doing it because like Respawn knows what they're doing, but so does Dice. And then we had Battle Battlefront. So, but what yeah. I want to know is they're talking about they're going to do some Clone Wars content for Battle Star Wars Battlefront 2. I want to know when we're going to get that awesome Solo movie content, man. Everybody's Did you have gonna... a problem with the Solo movie? What? Why would you think that I hated that abomination? Uh, hey, what? So um, let's this, not talk that's, about that's movies. Uh, let's see. Here. Star Wars Battlefront <laughs> 2 Clone Wars content was revealed. Um, more Battlefront 2. Because, you know, everyone is... Um, just chomping at the bit for Clone Wars content. I'm looking over EA. I did not watch EA's thing, but I'm looking over everything, and there's not really hardly anything. Uh, some sea of Solitude I've heard Now, this is about. interesting, because this is the game that I thought would be full of uh, loot boxes, and that is uh, Anthem. And it says no loot boxes. Uh, Bioware announced Anthem's release date at EA. Anthem is coming February 22nd, 2019. Man, that game has been pushed back so many times. They had to take out, um, all, dude. They had to they had to put all the stuff back in. They took out, you know, yeah, 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 yeah. A new cinematic trailer and gameplay demo were also shown off. Uh, they had to unloot box it. But yeah, apparently they unloot boxed it. So. <laughs> it's taken a year. That's how bad it was. Oh god, that is that is sad. I actually should be. But Anthem right. would yeah. would not have loot boxes and no pay to win feature. Like you know, um, you know, you're in a bad place when you have to say that. Yeah. Like you're you're standing on a stage and you're supposed to be showing off the great things that are to come, and you're like, but remember when we screwed up? <laughs> what alarms me is that that statement also has a second thing because it a it's a confession that they were definitely doing that, and b it's letting you know that it was going to be in there, but then they said, oh, crap, and didn't. Well, once again, fact, dude, they specifically this game has been up. pushed back like two, three years, mm -hmm. you know, so. They're like, hey, all that stuff we were going to do, we're undoing it. We got a lot of angry programmers who were their butts off because we really had it in there. We shoved it in there sideways. It's stuck. Yeah, because I remember, I remember, I remember something about when it first <laughs> visuals when it first got pushed back that people were saying it was getting pushed back to put loot uh, like DLC yeah, yeah. and loot stuff in there. So it is sort of amusing, you know. That's why they had to do the second pushback. <laughs> They're like, "Oh crap! Get it out! Get it out!" 
Or could it be that Bioware just was, forgot how to make games? Maybe they even built it into the um, literal structure of the game, so they had to redo the entire engine. It's like, but we built this engine on loot boxes. Is, it literally runs on the tears of parents who didn't pay attention to their credit card. <laughs> <laughs>